What's going on guys? Rob back, Retro Gamer 717 and I wanted to talk to you about Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. Um, I've always been a Mega Man fan, played all the games, but uh, this just came out yesterday. And um, I have a link below at the end of this video you can check out where uh, you can click there and order yours ASAP. It's cheap. So uh, it's pretty unique, you know, I, I don't talk about a lot of big box stores, so uh, I just wanted to see, so I called that game store just to see if they had it available sealed. I like to get a sealed copy as well as open copy for certain games. And um, to my surprise, they all only had one copy and they busted open for the display. So. Um, that was pretty odd. I know there's some other stores that do have it and you know you might find it in some mom and pop shops of course but um, that's pretty unique. Um, because of the first Mega Man Legacy um, not doing so well this one uh, they didn't overdo it with a lot of copies and they only sent as many as people pre-ordered as well as a few extra copies not many though and um, also you'll see when I show you my copies that Mega Man Legacy 2 actually didn't come with all the extras, whether it was the postcards, the soundtrack, paper, uh, um, the little placard with the enemy information on it. So that was pretty odd as well. What I love about Mega Man Legacy 2 is the graphics. As you can see, I mean, these graphics look so awesome. As you can see, it came with nothing. So you have Mega Man 7, 8, 9, and 10. As I said, 9 and 10 were DLC, uh, which makes that very unique. Oops, let me move this receipt out the way. Okay, so here's a copy of Legacy Collection 1. Now I just want to show you the difference. Look at everything it came with. That right there has a soundtrack code on the back for soundtrack DLC. This is enemy information here, front and back. And you have some little, I wouldn't call them coasters, stickers or something of Mega Man. I don't open them, I just leave them sealed. And this is Mega Man 1 through 6. And it's much different graphically, um, it's the older gen. But, um, yeah, just I'm gonna lay them out. Just take a look at the difference here. You know, you got a lot more with Legacy Collection One, but um, in my experiences, the second release or the later releases always end up being more rare than the initial releases. Um, just because if it's something that didn't do very well, then uh, they didn't make a whole lot of copies of it. And I'm sure there's a lot more of Legacy Collection One floating around. Than it will be of Legacy Collection 2. Just wanted to show them off and make this quick video. Um, we're still doing the Wii U collecting, um, so more of that to come. I think we'll be on like volume 7 or something like that. I'm almost done with the complete collection. Thank you everybody for sticking around. Um, for those of you who did stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to leave you with the code that you can use for your Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. It'll be on uh, Mega Man 9 and 10 when you go in there and select those games. It'll uh, unlock all the DLC immediately. You have to beat the games to unlock the DLC, but if you want it immediately, it'll unlock it immediately. So enjoy that. Like I said, there's a link below where you can order your Mega Man Legacy Collection 2 if you haven't. Like I said, it's cheap, $19.99. Appreciate you taking this time to check us out. Stay tuned. You know I'll be back with more.